Hello guys and I warmly welcome you to this video and I will be showing you today the new framework that we've released. I invite you guys to visit Nougat and some of you have already done so and you may have seen that we've released a new version which is version 2.0.7. So this is the most recent and stable version that we've released and with this version we've also released several controls and components. And in this video and other upcoming videos, I'll be showing you how to use the controls that we have in this version and other controls that you already have that we released in version 2.0.5 and 2.0.6. So if you haven't downloaded this recent and most stable version, I invite you please friends to go to Nougat or on the website and download this latest version 2.0.7. I've already included this um, version in my development environment, as you can see right there. So we have included several components, including the Citicon Data Grid View Styler, the Citicon Shapes 2, and we've also made available the Citicon Shapes Control and the Citicon Tab Control. So I'm, I will be showing you how to use these in this video and other upcoming videos. So please, if you haven't subscribed to this channel may you go ahead and subscribe that would be much appreciated i also want to take this opportunity to notify all of you friends that we are running a sale a personalized super special offer where we're going to be giving you a 70 percent discount on every sale so this means the version the version that was for personal developers which was for $199 can now be bought at $59 and with $199 which activated only two devices with the same amount you are able now to buy a, a license that can activate up to 15 devices if you are a team so this is a 70% off that we are running and as you can see it applies to every plan even the student plan from $39 to $11 per year. So this is an opportunity for you guys who haven't um, had an opportunity to find enough funds to buy the library. You may take advantage of this 70% discount so that you can grab your license and go ahead and enjoy the premium uh, version and everything that comes with the premium version so go ahead to our website and uh, under pricing you can see the plans that we have and every plan is discounted at 70 percent so let's get started we're going to be demonstrating the silicon tab control so let me type tab and i'm going to be showing you how to use this tab control so let me dock this tab control right so we've made this control so that it becomes very easy for you guys to create a tab control we know uh, it's going to be very useful to some of you hence we thought it was necessary to create this kind of control so how does this work as you can see right there by default we've added two pages uh, let me add a few pages right four pages so each page as you can see can be customized so what I want to do now, I want to drag and drop a label, a silicon label, and let me write this as page, page one, right, this is page one, let me make it a bit bigger, let me increase the font, there it is, let me copy this, let me go to page two, now let me change this to page two so what you can do guys it's very easy to navigate through this silicon tab control you just make sure that um, this blue tab is selected then you can switch on any of the tabs that you want to add your controls or you want to design and if you come here as you can see right there this page is selected so when you click on the page you may not see it selected because this is selected how do you see you can see the top left that um, 
icon to move the page. Of course, it cannot be moved. But that icon can show you which uh, part of the control is selected. So it is the right part of the control where you add your con your custom designs and other controls. If you want to switch tabs, you make sure that this blue theme uh, part of the control to your left is selected. When you click once, you can see that the entire control is selected. Thereby, this part is also selected and you can easily switch pages. So let me make this page three and let me make this page four. Likewise, if you are here and you're switching your tabs and you want to edit here, you just click wherever there is white space here and it is automatically selected. So let's run our control and see what we have so far. Let's give Visual Studio a moment to build and save a few changes we've made and let's see what we have so far. There it is. Now we can easily navigate through the pages. It's quite easy. We have made this super easy for you guys so that you can not waste much of your time. So what if I want to change the page names? It's very easy. I just select the entire control by clicking on this blue um, part of the control. And then right click, go to properties. And there it is, tab pages collection is by default selected. So this is a collection of type buttons that we have, which are there, you, as you can see from button one to button four. And when you select each of those buttons, you can see that to your right, you can scroll down to text. There you can change to page one. And let's change this to page two. As you make your changes, you can see that the changes are reflected in real time when you look at the control itself. Let me make this page three and let me make this page four. Right, there it is. Now everything is done. What if we want to make some additional changes? Maybe the color of the buttons and so forth. When you select the control, you just uh, right click, go to properties and you go down here. As you can see all these properties, you can change the tab harvest head. For example, when the when the user hovers on any of the buttons, we want the fill color to be black and the text, of course, has to be white. Right. Let's run and see what we have so far. You can make any customization that you want. There it is. As you can see, those um, hover animations there. Right. So we're going to be adding more features like the animation feature and other features in our upcoming updates. Let's change again the tab selected state. We want to make it white and we want to make the, te the text or the full color black and we want to change the inner color to red and on hover here can also change the inner color to let's say uh, yellow. This is for demonstration purposes. Of course, this may not be very cool. <laughs> it may not be very cool to look at, but I'm just demonstrating to you how this can be customized. If you want to change the tab size, you can just come here. This is the width and this is the height. So let's change the width to 100. There it is. Let's change the height to 80. There it is. Let's run. So you can make up to any customization to meet your design needs. This is uh, very user friendly. It's very fast. There it is. There it is. So this is for demonstration purposes to see that you can customize on harvested and on selected state. Of course, uh, in a real world application, I wouldn't advise you guys to use this yellow and black and blue. It may not look very nice. Okay. 
let's see other customizations that you may make so let me change this from 100 to 200 and let me change from 80 to 40 the it is you can also change the orientation of this um, menu drawer as you can call it let's change from 200 to 100 and let's change the orientation from um, vertical left to vertical right the it is and let's run so you can change the orientation to left right top bottom according to your needs let's give it a moment and see what we have so far the it is and you can make your changes this is really cool let's change the orientation to horizontal top and then we're going to change to horizontal bottom let's give visual studio a moment to build safe changes and see what we have there it is right likewise we can also change to bottom and it was to work so this is an advanced tab control and it's very easy to use as we can see right there it saves you much time and it's really useful in your real world applications we have tons of um, we have tons of features as you can see right there you can add images you can change on either stats and so forth so this is the control that we have made tab menu visible you can hide it you can make it visible or you can hide it that's really cool so if you are facing any problems please comment on the comment section and we'll be happy to help you you can just tell us what you're facing the problems you are experiencing and we'll find a way to help you we can also change the text alignment from here it is left you can change to center or right so by default it is centered but you can change to right or you can change to left as you can see right there and when it is a center to left you can now edit on the offset if the or if the text alignment is left you can change the offset of course you may not want it to be close to that uh, high to that highlighter or that indicator i don't know how you call it you can just uh, play around with the offset let's let me make it 20 the it is or you can make it 10 or you can make it 5 so this allows you for maximum customization so there you have it guys this is the city tab control it is available in the 2.0.7 version i invite you please guys to go ahead and install this latest version and there you see this and you can use it in your root application so if you're facing any problems using this control you can comment on the section and we'll be happy to help you i want to show you something guys when you are customizing on the properties as i select this white space here this is the working area you can see that the properties for the control are not visible because we are working on this workspace if you want to make these properties these properties available you just select here which is the menu drawer and there you can see all the properties so when you happen to see that in your development there are no properties it's okay you just um, select this part which is the menu drawer and there the controls will be visible and when you select this working area you can see that the text is right there and also the name of the selected control and when select on page two you can see here that there is page two the text and also the name so these are the for design uh, when you are trying to select a page from code you can handle these design names and switch tabs using code so thank you guys my name is russell i'm so happy to be with you i wish you all the best guys 
Cheers.